A couple of years ago, I did a video about the then-in-production adaptation of Frank Herbert's sci-fi, ahem, masterpiece, Dune. Now look, if you like it, great. I'm not here to convince anyone what they should or shouldn't like. And your opinion shouldn't hinge on what some random ass on the internet thinks of it. It's a video that to even this day, I catch a lot of shit for, and I can't understand why. So if you're going to say, well, why do you have to say anything? Why can't you just let people enjoy it? Show me where I'm saying that you shouldn't like it. All I'm saying is that I don't see what you see in it, and that's why I specifically don't like it. However, that shouldn't impact anyone else. With that said, the Dune fandom should be less militant and cut people more slack, recognizing it isn't for everyone. Even I, as a fan, will acknowledge that the Beatles had their critics. With that out of the way, the first reviews are coming in for Dune, and many are less than flattering. IndieWire says it's a massive disappointment. Ouch. Here's a film consumed by dreams from even before the moment it starts, you'll see what I mean, but also one so arch and full of empty spectacle that it keeps your imagination on a tight leash, which grows all the more enervating as Paul and his mother find themselves being chased through the desert by sandworms in the final act. Eventually, Dune only resembles a dream in that it cuts out a note so flat and unresolved that you can't believe anyone would have chosen it on purpose. Wow. From Variety, Dune Early Reviews call Villeneuve's film both brilliant and disappointing. Let's talk about your mixed signals there. Entertainment Weekly calls Dune a starry sci-fi epic that is breathtaking and a little bit maddening. Now look, this isn't me spiking the football or trying to say, I told you so. And to be honest, I'm not cherry picking these reviews. These are all reviews that are coming up randomly. However, all of this seems to come back to what I said back then, and I'll say it again now. There is no way to make a coherent movie out of Dune. The material is far too pedantic and far too tedious to sell to a sci-fi action movie going crowd. Yes, I understand the allegory of the spice representing oil and Arrakis being the Middle East. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that this was going to be a tough sell from day one. If they could pull it off, more power to them. If they can't, you won't see another adaptation of this for a long ass time. Dune was always more suited to be a television series. The slow burn pace of the book intrinsically makes it difficult for any narrative to play out in a movie context unless you take over three and a half hours to tell the story, which is a long ass time. And there is a common complaint through these reviews that the movie ends abruptly. This is only the first half of the first book. I don't mind a long movie that's engaging. One of my favorite movies is A Bridge Too Far, but even I'll be the first to say that in terms of runtime, the film seems longer than the actual war. Now, for those who think I'm being unfair, Dune isn't the only work that suffers from this problem. Other sci-fi novels have been notoriously difficult to adapt to the big screen. The Philip K. Dick novel Ubik has been languishing in production hell for decades, with many considering the book to be unfilmable. French filmmaker Jean-Pierre Gorin first attempted to bring Ubik to the big screen in 1974, with a screenplay written by Philip K. Dick himself. The screenplay was later published in 1985, with the Dick family claiming it was heavily edited. In 2008, the French company Celluloid Dreams optioned Ubik, and the film was supposed to go into production in 2009, and never did. French filmmaker Michel Gondry abandoned the latest production attempt in 2014. As of late, there doesn't appear to be any other movement on this front. Some science fiction literature is never meant to be turned into movies, and that's for a good reason. Obviously, you can do all sorts of things in a novel that you can't do on screen. And dare I say that the movie-going audience is completely different from the sci-fi literary audience. Dune is a tough sell to a movie crowd, and that's not going to change. However, I still think the best venue for Dune is long-form television. Until Game of Thrones went tits up, it was hailed as a landmark achievement in the medium. The biggest obstacle standing in the way of Dune, however, would still be budget. You couldn't get the kind of budget you'd need for a TV series that you'd require to accurately bring this world to life. Then again, we've seen what mega budgets do for some series, and the results leave something to be desired. The advent of CGI and technology have brought other films to the big screen that many considered for years to be unfilmable. For years, many in the film industry considered Lord of the Rings to be unfilmable, however, Peter Jackson found a way, and found a way he did. The same with Watchmen, which for the record, I wasn't all that crazy about. But it takes a skilled director to know how to use that technology and skilled writers to know which parts to bring across and which parts to, well, leave out. Then again, I could very well be wrong. Dune could turn out to be great and it could be a runaway box office smash. But if it isn't, it's going to be interesting to see exactly where it goes from here. See you next time. Yeah, I know the clock is ticking.